With Alpha 20 changing how farming works, some of you may be finding ways to get food a little bit more difficult than before. But fear not, here are 4 ways for you to get your resources so you can cook up a good meal. Starting off with looting, when you're out and about doing quests and looting, you might find these little food piles uh, laying around either in kitchens or at the end of the POI in the loot room. These usually come in the form of like cans stacked like that and they vary in size. You usually get like a small one or you can get the bigger ones as well. And you can usually find canned goods, rotten flesh, drinks or even a full meal. Additionally, you can also find food in Shanwei boxes, which is the main food supplier of 7 Days to Die. And if you crack the boxes open and look inside, you usually find any kind of salt moment food. In this case, we've got some hobo stew, which is quite nice. Let's also not forget that when you start the game, the game actually tells you to loot nests so you can actually get feathers. And what you might find is that when you open the nest, you might find an egg inside. Save all the eggs. This is going to save you at the beginning of the game and save you a lot of headache for getting food because if you get two eggs and then five meat, they'll make you some bacon and eggs. And you can usually do that by going into the Master Chef tree and unlocking the very first skill in Bachelor, which allow you to make bacon and eggs. And this is probably the best food you can get for early game. Once you start getting a few quests done, you're going to start earning some dukes. And with that dukes, you can go up to vending machines and you can actually buy the food in the vending machine. So here we have some smoothie, you can buy that for drinks. And then we have the beef rations as well. Out of all the goods you can have, so you have like the beef rations, the lamb and the chicken. You can eat basically anything from chicken that is not used for anything in like recipes and stuff. But beef rations, lamb rations, you can use those for recipes later on. And not only that, make sure you buy in every can of stock and peas because this also forms the basis of most recipes in later game. You could also head to the traders as well as traders will also sell food. So here, Trader Rekt is the main supplier of food within the traders and as you can see he has a vast array of canned goods and food for you to buy so you can have chicken soup you can just eat that right off the bat a uh, large beef ration stock uh, pasta and he even has like full meals as well so sham chowder so if you have the dookies just head over to the, the trader you can also you can just buy all the food that he has to offer and just buy it all out seven days today also brings a whole host of animals for you to go hunt for meat animal fat and bones. You might consider getting some extra perks into Huntsman, which is under the Fortitude tree right here, which will increase your yield of meat, allowing you to get more bang for your buck. So starting with the critters, you have the chicken, the rabbit and the snake. And if you kill one of these and butcher it, you will get 10 meat. The coyote will give you 12 meat, doe will give you 20. The normal wolf and the mountain lion will both give you 25 meat. But bear in mind that the mountain lion has over 600 points of HP and the wolf only has roughly around about 200 points. The stag and the boar will both give you 30 meat. The dire wolf, which is recognizable with its larger size and glowing yellow eyes, will give you a total of 35 meat. The mighty bear will also give you 50 meat. And if you ever happen to come across Bob's boars and you find Gracie in the basement, Grace it will give you 100 meat and which is the largest amount of meat that you can get from one animal. If you put points into Huntsman which is found under the Fortitude tree, so if we just max this out and then go into Huntsman and max this out, the last perk will give you 100% more resources when using any bladed tool. So Gracie gave us 100 base value of meat. So if we slice her up now with Max Huntsman, you'll see that we have 200 meat in total. So it's definitely worth it if you want more meat for every time that you harvest an animal. With the new world generation of Alpha 20, finding crops such as corn, potatoes and mushrooms is relatively easy now since farms are pretty much everywhere look at the city generation if you just look on the outside all these like dark patches of land signifies that's a farm and where there's a farm there's usually either potatoes corn and sometimes there's even mushrooms as well once you find these crops however i would suggest not harvesting in these until you have at least two points into living off the land which grants you 50 percent chance to get you one additional crop every time that you harvest a crop. Now, I won't go into the numbers, but if you want a detailed analysis, I would suggest watching a video from Is Prebuilt that goes into great detail about farming. So once you've finished harvesting, looting, and buying everything that you need to make a decent meal, you'll need to put everything into the 
campfire and you'll need a cooking pot and a grill as well once you have that you can start making all the things in here now before you can make everything as mentioned earlier i would recommend that you put points into master chef master chef will give you access to more ingredients and more food so as we unlock everything here and we put one into bachelor this will help us get bacon and eggs the second one will help us make stews such as meat stew and vegetable stews and then after that it's basically a bonus so you can have sham chowder hobo stews chili dogs fish tacos and then the best ones are tuna gravy shepherd's pie gumbo stew and spaghetti once you've unlocked all the recipes that you want here are the foods that i recommend that you make so early game i recommend that you make bacon and eggs bacon and eggs are very easy but it does have a heavy reliance on you to find eggs meat shouldn't be a problem since there's so many animals about and every bacon and egg will give you a total of 36 food the next three are basically situational but these are the three mid-tier food that i would suggest that you try to make first one is vegetable stew vegetable stew will give you 31 food so if for a reason you can't find any animals or you're too scared to kill them making vegetable stew is probably the best bet and vegetable stew costs you potato corn mushroom and water the next step up is steak and potatoes steak and potato will give you a total of 50 food and is relatively cheap costs raw meat potatoes mushrooms and animal fat so no water needed and let's say that you've got all the ingredients that you ever wanted you can actually make meat stew which is personally the best of the mid tier food gives you also 50 food but in addition will also give you 20 water and this will cost you meat potato corn animal fat and water and then for the late game food i would suggest the following four foods to cook the rest of them take a bit too much effort in regards to getting the canned goods so the first one is sham chowder you need to get a can of sham a potato corn boiled water hobo stew which needs rotten flesh potato corn animal fat and water and gives you a total of 64 food fish taco all it needs is a can of salmon and cornmeal and gives you 46 food and chili dog requires a can of chili raw meat and cornbread as well and gives you a total of 53 food the other end game foods such as gumbo stew spaghetti shepherd's pie and tuna fish gravy on toast all require peas or stock or something like that so if we look for gumbo stew as an example you'll see you'll need large beef rations can of peas a can of stock and in all honesty if you have them sure go ahead and make them but don't kill yourself trying to find these to make the best food you don't need it you just need to fulfill your hunger requirement so all the previous foods that i've said before should be sufficient for you to survive on anything else is just a bonus so that's it folks i hope it helps you guys out i hope it stops you guys starving in the apocalypse and if you found this video helpful please make sure you smash that sub button and hit the like button as well and i shall catch you in the next one peace